For the first time, we are hearing directly from a victim's family about the tragedy that unfolded during the Miller Brewing shooting one year ago tomorrow. Only on Fox 6, one family speaks with our Brett Lemoyne about how their life has been forever changed one year later. There's so many memories. <laughs> the good thing is we have a lot of videos and photos of him. Family members keep the memory of Jesse Valle close to their hearts. His sister Jenny looked up to her brother her entire life. Jesse's daughter Ivana and son Santiago have few precious memories of their own. When their father was killed last winter, they were only two and three years old. His widow Alejandra still struggling with grief. He loves to play with his kids. He was so intelligent. Photos show a man coming of age on Milwaukee's south side, a man proud of his family, heritage, Catholic faith, and his job. He was a hardworking man. Um, he loved going to work. He'd always bring back um, cases of beers each month. Jesse worked as a powerhouse operator at Molson Coors, looking after the plant's boilers. He wanted the best for us all, and he would work as much as possible, only to end in a senseless act of gun violence. Jesse's grave decorated season after season, a corner of the family home, now a shrine to a 33-year-old with no birthdays left to celebrate. <laughs> and you just knew he was in the room. You can just hear his laughter. You can just, he'd gather everyone around with just food. He was a great cook. On the weekends, Jesse would cook every meal for his family, taking leftovers and to work throughout the week. He loves his co-workers. His father says it wasn't uncommon for Jesse to share meals in the brewery break room, occasionally with the man who would kill him and four of his colleagues on February 26, 2020. All of a sudden, I just got this huge shiver. I got these colds, and then like I look at my fingers, and they're purple, and I'm like, is it me or is it cold? At work in Chicago, Jenny says she sensed something was wrong, unaware of what was unfolding 92 miles north in Milwaukee, until a friend saw a report on the news. And I was like, why, what's going on? He's like, there's a shooting at the brewery. And I'm like, ah, he's okay, Jesse, he, he's, he's out of work before three o'clock. The shooting happened right at the end of Jesse's shift. How was he able to carry these guns into work? Why are there no metal detectors? I went to high school with metal detectors. Why don't these huge companies have metal detectors in place? The gunman died by suicide, leaving more questions than answers. Why did it happen? Why did this occur? Why that day, why them? But we're just never gonna know, unfortunately. The Valles feel the public's attention in this case waned. One month later and Wisconsin was in lockdown, consumed by the coronavirus pandemic. It wasn't until June when the family says Milwaukee police debriefed them. Now, one year later. We still expect for him to just walk through the door. Photos and videos are all that's left. And we'll hold on to those memories to him dearly. In Milwaukee, Brett Lemoyne, Fox 6 News. The family will honor Jesse with a mass Saturday, February 27th at noon. It'll be held at Our Lady Queen of Peace Catholic Church in Milwaukee. Now, we did reach out to the families of the four other victims, and while they chose not to go on camera, a decision we obviously respect, many were kind enough to share a statement about their loved ones. Let's go through those. The family of Trevor Wetzelar says, in part, Trevor was a fun-loving, generous, happy-go-lucky guy who shared a love of reading, and playing board games. He was so happy when he became a powerhouse operator at Miller Brewery in 2018 and could finally settle down in one place surrounded by family and friends. On February 26, 2020, our joyous reunion came to a tragic end. As his mother, I hope people will choose to perform an act of kindness on this date in the memory of those we lost. The family of Dale Hudson sharing with Fox 6. It's been a very difficult year for the family without Dale and our hearts are slowly healing. Dale was dearly loved by family and friends and we miss him every day. We are so thankful for the support, prayers, and gifts from so many caring people who reached out to help. Becca is the daughter of Jean Levschetz. She says, in part, a year later, my life and my family's life have absolutely 100% flipped upside down. We do not feel whole. 
there is an enormous presence that is so noticeably missing. Goes on to say, I would do anything to go back in time. I would do anything for one last hug, one last kiss, one last goodbye. Jean's daughter, Tanya, saying, I am thankful every day for the incredible life that my dad has given us. I work hard to keep his memory alive for my children and will continue to do so for as long as I live. And the family of Dana Walk is asking for privacy during this difficult time. If you'd like to read the full statements from our families, just go to our website, fox6now.com.